for those of you who don't already know, when I was a child, my mother raised me in a traditional way, very authoritarian kind of upbringing. There was basically her word, and then there was everything else. Now, perhaps it's also important to note that she would sometimes physically abuse me, and I would be scared of her when she wasn't in a good mood. She would be nice to me when she was in a good mood, and okay, to add some more details, she wasn't an alcoholic or any other kind of substance abuser. It was her temper, basically. She wanted things to go her way. When they didn't, she would yell or scream or sometimes break things, sometimes uh, slap me. She died when I was 12, and this is really to the people who might currently be raising their children in a traditional authoritarian way. What she did was basically somewhat like what they do to train people in the military. She broke me down and whatever you might think about that kind of parenting, what happened was she wasn't alive to build me back up again. I want anyone who might be thinking of raising their child in that way to just consider that. Consider that something might happen and you might not be able to build them back up or they might not have the emotional strength to be built back up. I am still working on my identity, trying to figure out who I am, trying to balance her way, the way she raised me, which is the old way, with the new and the current. The more I've found out about her, the more I realized that she wasn't actually, at least not in all areas, traditional or authoritarian. She was a teacher and her students were like fans of her. They loved her classes. I've been told that she did curse, even though she tried to prevent me from doing so, and there are similar things. There are things that I either don't do or feel bad about doing that she did do, and what it really is, is that the way she thought about children was that you had to separate what adults do from what children can do. And she did this with such efficiency that I didn't even realize. I don't remember seeing her do things that I wasn't allowed to do, at least not very much. I've been told mostly by my father, and I trust him, that she did these things, but in my 
perception, they didn't actually occur at all. They didn't happen in any... They, they certainly weren't open to me. And thus, when I did grow older, I still didn't feel like they were open to me, and to this day, that continues. I followed what she wanted as closely as I could. And, um, and when she wasn't there to open more doors for me, when she wasn't there to tell me that now it was okay. I continued to feel like it wasn't okay, no matter how many people have since told me, including very recently, that these things would be okay for me, that... And though I know in theory that they shouldn't hurt me. They might not, at least. I continue to not dare. I just want anyone who's thinking of raising their child or children in that kind of way, in an authoritarian and very controlled, conservative way. Just think about that you might not be there to follow through, to later tell them now they are old enough for these things. I've also met people in their 30s, mid-30s, who still didn't feel like they were allowed to do what they were allowed to do when they were what they weren't allowed to do when they were children, what they should have been allowed to do from, let's say, 18, age 18. So just keep that in mind, please.